Is it really that simple, though? Attitude is missing in today's workforce, and uh, Fortune 500 companies just don't want to deal with somebody who's got an attitude? I think it's, that's the tip of the iceberg. We're clearly attitude and empowerment and self-esteem and confidence to be able to go out on an interview, display your talents, mm -hmm. overcome your weaknesses. Folks on welfare have a lot of deficiency, gaps in their resumes, poor work history, not the best education. They're not going to be the most experienced candidate. But clearly, if you walk into an interview with the confidence and the motivation that's necessary, that goes a long way towards overcoming some of those deficiencies. They are uh, big proponents of public-private partnerships, which is, I think, very important in this difficult challenge to integrate those individuals with expertise into kind of a consortium, if you will, and take advantage of different organizations who have different strengths. Our forte happens to be being able to develop jobs with organizations based upon our uh, ability to contact corporations and then also train and employ people to go to a job and stay on a job. One of the, uh, I think about 20 or 25 intermediaries from around the country who came together to formulate kind of a best practices manual. And they're doing a wonderful job of getting more companies on board. Companies are willing to hire welfare recipients so long as they do not have to displace existing workers. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to kick out money or special programs. They do not want to differentiate those employees who came from the welfare ranks from the regular population. is isn't fair to anybody. But clearly, they're interested in saying this is a source for entry-level hires if, in fact, you can get folks to be motivated, dependable, et cetera, et cetera. Sounds like people want to get jobs then. I mean, these aren't people that, even mm -hmm. though they were in the welfare system for a long, long time, they're actually interested in getting back into the workforce? Is that the, the misconception way of welfare recipients is lazy, undependable, substance abuse, don't want to work. The reality is the large percentage of people do not want to sit home and watch TV all day mm -hmm. or chase kids around. They want to go out and be productive. They want to feel good about themselves. They want to interact with other folks in a working environment who are productive. The problem is, is they don't know how to take that step. And so our training, I think, gives them the confidence and the motivation to say, hey, why not me? Why can't I go out there and be a participant just like somebody else? And companies understand that philosophy. Hmm, it's fascinating. I remember doing a story out in Los Angeles uh, where I visited a high school and then looked at a Rockwell plant that was just down the road and looking at the gap between...